When I first moved to Innisfil two decades ago, this old uh, nursery was where I bought everything that filled my acre and a half garden. And at the very back of the property, there was this wonderful old barn. And I used to photograph there. And today, I decided I wanted to paint it. So there's the sketch. And I'm mixing up some cerulean blue here. Actually, it's cerulean blue chromium for the sky. And um, it needs to be a bit wet, wetter as a, a wash. And I forgot to welcome you. So welcome, everybody. This is M.P. Langer Art, and I'm Patricia. And I'm going to bring in a little water here to bring this down. Or have I already done that? I already did that. And now I'm mixing up some gray for the barn itself. And what I've been, I guess, focusing on and learning um, is to let myself paint as loosely as I feel. I've kind of been criticizing my bit, myself a bit about that, wanting to be tighter because it looks more skillful, I think, sometimes, but that's not true. I really do appreciate uh, people who can do a very detailed painting or love it. And I, uh, it's not my love. I love this. I love having some sap green mixed up here with a little bit of um, green appetite genuine and just making this hillside flow. And this might be a little bit of undersea green, I think. And I know I've got a little bit of the Hansa yellow light in here as well. And then I'm just bringing in some Green Appetite Genuine, which is a Daniel Smith color just to give this hill some shape and form. And here, this corner was quite dark with um, brush, and it had a, a bit of a reddy brown tone to it. So I've mixed up some permanent brown and just dabbing out some places to that I'll work with a little later. And then deepening the roof. This has a, a little bit of perylene maroon in it that I've just dabbed in. And this is um, some Monte Amiata Sienna, raw sienna with a little bit of gertite brown ochre. And just working on the stonework down here. Those of you who um, know that I was working with the split primary uh, may be wondering where that is right now and why I'm using all my colors again. And um, <clears throat> we're not going to talk about it. I have been working with the split primary palette, but just, you know, quietly dabbing away. I, I don't want to take on a really a piece with it because it's just frustrating me. I'm mostly just working on mixes and uh, tiny little watercolor sketches. And there's this wonderful old uh, brown door here. And then I'm, I'm putting in the trees. They're spring trees, so they're not fully leafed out yet, or at least they weren't when I did this. And this is, I believe, Burnt Tiger's Eye Genuine, which is one of my favorite uh, browns to work with because it's so beautifully granulating. And I may have put a little bit of sepia in with it. And now I'm using the rigor to just make some of these finer branches. And then these were very young trees, very spindly. And 
And over here in the corner, I'm using, I've mixed up a, a darker green to um, put in these small fir trees. There were just three small firs. And I'm using um, a dagger brush. I'm trying to learn to use this. I've been practicing with it. It's not a comfortable brush uh, for me or, you know, yet. But um, in the fullness of time, And I tried to leave little tunnels for the birds. Now, if I had left this alone and just let it be a tall, skinny, skinny tree, it would have been fine. But I decided that this tall, skinny tree needed all these leaves, you know, heading out into space. And then some greenery that was behind that little back shed. And here's something else I've been learning. You know, this window, um, I didn't leave, I didn't um, use enough of a wash to make a square window. And so I'm practicing just going in with the color and not going back in to fix anything. Just let it be. Because the colors will be more vibrant and, and natural if I don't mess especially in a sketchbook. And then the, the little ladder leaning up against the wall. And I'm starting to put in some of the darks here and the shadows. We're a couple of minutes away from the end of the video and it um, cut off before I got to um, show you the shadows. I was quite uh, happy that I put in shadows. I had some. I, I feel pleased with the shadows, is what I'm trying to say. And now I'm trying to rescue my uh, free-floating leaves here and extending a little more of the thinner branches up into this tree. And, you know, as we're coming to an end now, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and um, tell you how much I appreciate you being here and invite you to subscribe and to like this video if that uh, is something that you would like to do. And I would really love to hear from you, so I hope you will use the comment section.